What breaks my heart more than anything? Seeing perfectly good engines fail prematurely because of habits that could have been avoided. That's why today, I'm sharing six driving habits that are absolute engine killers. If you're doing any of these, it's time to stop, for the sake of your car. Let's get into it. Habit number one, constant low RPM driving in your manual car. This one's huge and honestly, a bit misunderstood. Now, driving at lower RPMs does have its benefits. It's great for fuel economy and can reduce engine wear during highway cruising. But here's the catch. Doing it constantly is where people go wrong. When you're driving consistently below 1,500 RPM, especially in modern cars, you're setting yourself up for some serious problems. Here's why. Your engine needs proper oil circulation. When you stick to ultra-low RPMs, it doesn't allow the oil to distribute effectively, and this can lead to cylinder wall glazing. Glazing is when the walls of your engine's cylinders get polished incorrectly. This hurts oil retention, making your engine less efficient over time. But that's not all. Carbon buildup becomes a major issue, especially in modern direct injection engines. This can clog your system and cause premature engine wear. The solution is simple. Drop a gear. Driving at a slightly higher RPM can help maintain proper oil circulation and avoid carbon buildup. You can still maintain the same speed, but your engine will thank you in the long run. All right, let's move on to habit number two, driving with the check engine light on. Your car has a way of talking to you. It communicates through dashboard lights. So when that little check engine light comes on, your car is basically saying, hey, look at me. I might have an issue with my engine management system. If you keep driving without addressing it, guess what? Your engine might get upset. That little light could mean anything from a loose gas cap to a more serious issue like a failing sensor or misfire. Ignoring it only makes things worse and could lead to costly damage down the road. The solution? Don't ignore it. If your check engine light comes on, take your car to a professional. Or, if you're a DIY enthusiast, grab an OBD2 scanner. It's super easy. Just connect the scanner, retrieve the codes, and voila! The activated OBD codes will tell you what's wrong. Now, if you're unsure what those OBD2 codes mean, no worries. Head over to our website, obdcode.org. We've got a full list of codes and their explanations to help you out. Now, habit number three, revving a cold engine. It's a frosty morning, you start your car, and then, vroom! Sound familiar? Well, let me tell you, this is a major engine killer. Think of it this way. Imagine someone waking you up and immediately telling you to sprint like Usain Bolt. You'd probably pull a muscle, right? Just like we need a warm-up before intense activity, your engine needs time to warm up too. When you rev the engine right after starting, especially on cold mornings, the oil hasn't had enough time to circulate and lubricate all the moving parts. This creates unnecessary wear and tear on cold, unprotected components, leading to long-term damage. The fix is super simple. Don't rev your engine hard right after starting it. Let it idle for a bit or drive gently until the engine temperature starts to rise. Once the temperature gauge shows it's a little above cold, you're good to go full throttle. Next, habit number four, manual drivers. This one's for you. Riding the clutch. It's a bad habit that not only kills your clutch, but can also hurt your engine in the long run. Riding the clutch is when you keep your foot lightly on the clutch pedal, even when you don't need to. It causes the clutch to partially engage, creating constant friction between the clutch disc and flywheel. This constant friction overheats the clutch, leading to premature wear. Over time, it can also strain the engine, as it's forced to work harder due to the incomplete power transfer. Here's how to fix it. Only press the clutch when shifting gears or stopping. When driving, rest your foot on the floor, not the clutch pedal. Use the handbrake on inclines instead of balancing with the clutch. Habit number five, hard acceleration and braking. Here's a habit many of us are guilty of, hard acceleration and braking. It might feel thrilling, but trust me, your car isn't enjoying it as much as you are. 
When you slam on the gas pedal, your engine has to work extra hard to deliver sudden bursts of power, which leads to unnecessary wear on its internal components. Then, hard braking puts excessive strain on your brakes, wearing down the pads and rotors faster. It also stresses the tires, reducing their lifespan. The fix is simple. Accelerate gradually instead of flooring the gas pedal. Anticipate traffic and start braking gently instead of slamming on the brakes. Maintain a consistent speed where possible to reduce engine strain. Let's talk about a habit that's way too common, running on low fuel. I get it. Sometimes we push our luck, but trust me, your engine isn't happy when you're driving on fumes. Here's why. Your fuel pump relies on gasoline to stay cool and lubricated. When your tank is nearly empty, the pump starts to overheat and wear out faster. And that's not all. Running on empty forces your pump to suck up all the sediment and crud that naturally settles at the bottom of your tank. This can clog your fuel filter, damage your injectors, and lead to premature pump failure.